and welcome to another Mortgage Coach Tuesday interview. I have two amazing guests today that just couldn't be two of the right guys in this market. Uh, so I interviewed Bill Hillstad. Uh, was it last week or the week before, Bill? I think it's the week before last. Last, yeah, yeah it was the week, last Friday. Week before last Friday. So for those of you who don't who know who Bill Hillstad is, he, uh, he's the guy. I, I know there's a lot of things that he did but he brought Tim Brahim into the mortgage business and they were partners uh, for Tim's yeah. first, how many years were you guys together? Oh, I don't know, from 95, 98, up, up until the dot-com boom and I went and played in venture capital and all the dot-com insanity. Yeah, yeah, well you, everybody knows Tim, you know the success he had and, and Bill was, you know, the guy running the database and helping him become a marketer. And today, Bill consults with some of the largest internet, or not internet, Facebook marketers uh, in a lot of different industries, including the mortgage space. So the way I see Bill is he is a Facebook marketing expert. Every time I've had him on a call, it's been among the most viewed calls that we've done. And I get the most positive feedback saying, wow, I got two ideas, three ideas that are making me more money and helping me monetize Facebook. So Bill is going to be here to share some of the some follow up to what we did two weeks ago, but how can you become the most well known lender or realtor in the city that you live in today? So local strategies uh, to become the most well known lender. Craig Sewing is the founder of American Dream TV. I've interviewed Craig just countless times, dating back to when he was a top producer and a power user, a mortgage coach who had done thousands of TCAs, to the guy who's got the the best content. Uh, out of any mortgage or real estate company out there. I mean, if you follow American Dream, whether it's on YouTube, Facebook, uh, check out Kelly Zitlow, check out the Gaylord Hansen team, check out Ryan Kiefer. They've got over 50 lenders in 50 different cities that are putting on the best content in America. And they've got over 500 realtors that are investing to be part of this network. So he's going to talk to us about what kind of content should we be creating in today's market? So Craig, you're gonna go first. Before I have Craig go first, Bill, what are, what are some of your thoughts on American Dream content? Because I know when you and I were prepping yesterday, you had some, some feelings about the quality of the content. No, I've <laughs> been a fan ever since you introduced me to Craig you know, years ago. And it's pretty simple. Everything in marketing, reach, frequency, impact. You just gotta repeat that to yourself over and over and over. I gotta have the reach. Without the reach, it doesn't do any good. I got to have the frequency, meaning people who get a lot of views and a lot of reach doesn't do you any good if it's strangers seeing it every time. It's just bouncing all around randomly. You got to have the targeting in the audiences and the retargeting so that your views are hitting the same people over and over. But the hardest part, and that's easy. All that's easy. We set that up. No problem. But the impact, what are you putting out? What does it say? What does it do? And all the same old market update, boring mortgage crap. No, 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 no. It's the impact. The content is where it always breaks down for me. Biggest nightmare in my life is trying to get people to create good content and American dream. Uh, uh, yeah. Their content's just as good as it gets. I'd love to play with more of them and focus on <laughs> the reach and frequency. My part because Craig nails the content. The impact is there. Yeah, no doubt. So guys, the guy who leads the company that creates, in my mind, the best content in the mortgage and real estate space, Craig Sewing. What's up, brother? What's going on, fellas and everybody on the call? Thanks for having me here, and thanks for the compliments. Man, that's a lot to live up to. So let's uh, let's bring value today. That's what that's what people need right now. And we're talking to mortgage professionals, which Dave you mentioned is my background. It, it still runs through my veins. Love the mortgage guys and gals out there. You named a few that are in our model that I absolutely love. And realtors, man. We talk about two worlds going through crazy stuff uh, and uh, we got to bring those worlds together and build relationships around it too. So we'll talk a lot about that today, but let's, let's go, man. What do you got? Well, one more thing before we do it, congrats on your book, the American dream. I see it on your desk. Uh, folks, oh, you, make you sure you use the product placement here. <laughs> yeah, I noticed that. I noticed that. I noticed you that. Know, actually, I, had one, your... I had one back here too, like that. I was like, all right, that's a little obnoxious. So I figured that with that we should I don't be. know. I don't know. I see I see a whole row behind you. I see a row to the right of you. Guys, check it out. It's a badass book. 
Uh, and, and I had the honor of getting to give it a, I guess, a testimonial or a blurb. So guys, get this book. Yeah, it's that, it's that endorsed. Right back of the thing. Your blurb. Yeah, baby. Yeah, I'm honored to do that, brother. So, so tell us what type of content should we be creating? What advice are you giving to the lenders and realtors that are part of your model? And uh, give us some ideas, brother. You know, Bill actually referenced it a bit. I think, you know, what type of content? First and foremost, something, anything, get out, like get active right now. You're working from home. You have to understand the environment that we're in right now. It, it, we all have to acknowledge the fact that our country, the world is going some, through something crazy. So I th hope everybody on the other end of these cameras are, are safe and healthy and, and doing okay, but also staying inspired. You know, now, now, now it is a time for leaders to lead and innovators to innovate. Fear is taking the wheel for some people. Don't be that guy. Now is a time to get out, to create content. You have the most captive audience you're ever going to have. I mean, if you don't see the silver linings littered all over this marketplace right now, you're, you're just not paying attention. You have people are at home. They don't even have sports to distract them. They're being, if you're talking, if we have mortgage guys and we're talking about the real estate community, I mean, everybody is shoving it down your throat now that you, you got to create content. You got to get into your CRM. Now's the time for social media. What an opportunity to do it for them. I know Bill speaks a lot to interviewing others in the marketplace. There's ways we can do this with others and build relationships around this thing right now as well. So I think content right now is the, I think leadership is the name of the game. I think content is, is the currency, but the type that you put out there to answer your question, Dave, we're all sitting in our home offices right now. I think right now more than ever, vulnerability, honesty, transparency, authenticity. I think authentic content right now is the most important type to be putting out there because it makes you relatable. And people, man, people need leadership right now. If you're talking about specifically the mortgage space, there is so much confusion out there. there there's a term that we've used in the past we called news hacking, right? There's topics that go out and people pay attention to those topics and get in front of that, even if it's not even related to your industry. But right now the news hacking is, it's your industry. I mean, it, it's screaming mortgage industry. You have a $2 trillion package. You have short-term rates at 0%. Now I realize I, I know Barry Habib. I know 0%. It is not mortgage rates, but everybody else doesn't know that. Consumers don't know that. It's time for lenders to not just wait on realtor referrals, but get out there and create content, uh, consumer direct, and let them know what 0% interest rates mean. I got an email from our governor on, what is today, Tuesday? So this would have been late last week that basically said, don't make your mortgage payments. That's insane. That's insane that that is the headline that is going on out there. People are getting this in their email inbox and in newsletter form. Uh, they're, they're seeing it on the news. More people are watching the news, seeing it on social media. But where is the expert right now? Where is the person that is telling them what it means and what you can actually do about it? So if I'm out there and I'm creating content to answer your question, what kind of content? News hack, tap into these stories and create a lot of it and make it authentic and real. And uh, a post I put out there recently was make it compassionate, right? I, I, no one, it, don't put out the garbage in, in front of your your nice home or the, the Ferrari. And that wasn't even good before the, the, the issue that we're facing right now. And it's really bad now. Get out there, lead with your heart and give people information that they need in an authentic way. And I think you're gonna see, you're gonna build a lot of what I've called trust equity uh, in your sphere, the people you're connected to, the people close. And then this wild world of social media where I'm sure Bill can talk to you more about distribution and connectivity and making sure people actually see it. But authentic content and news hacking, I think, is the game right now. Well, you said uh, I love trust, uh, you know, trust equity. Listening to a video that you did in your private Facebook group for the American Dream community, you, you said something about today is a great time to gain market share through marketing. So I think you gave some broad concepts, compassionate marketing, uh, new, news hacking. What are like some specific tactics? You know, like if you, you put content in categories, what are some of the categories of content 
that you'd love to see. And if there is, if you want to delineate, okay, here's for lenders, here's for realtors, if you want to give it both, but what are some of the categories of content uh, people should be making if they want to become the most well-known loan officer or lender in their local city? Yeah, you know, I love an interview you did with Dan Keller out of Seattle. He's a stud. He's part of our mortgage partnership uh, up there. We essentially choose one mortgage uh, guy or gal, usually a mortgage coach to tie in, uh, in in every city, 52 cities now that we've done it. And I love it when he said on one of your interviews, Dave, I don't need every realtor to do business with me, but I do need every realtor to know who I am. Like that was, I, I love that quote. And now is a world where you can do that. Uh, as far as the, the comment on marketing, I, I think what I said was you you can't gain market share without being a great marketer. Even before the coronavirus, marketing is done in the way of video, digital, and social. I mean, th that's it. Redfin is a publicly traded company. They increase their marketing budget 400% or so. It, it ain't print. You know, it's, it's, it's creating an authentic story, being known for something and understanding the connectivity of the digital world. And also realizing that that connectivity can lead back to more handshakes. So it's not hiding behind your computer and, and never coming out from behind it. Uh, it's just using that to be known for something, to create a story, to create a brand. And ultimately that can lead to more relationships. That's really the, the premise of the book. It's the old school of relational building meets the new school of connectivity. Uh, but you, you got you to gotta do video and it doesn't have to be overly professional. So if we're looking at categories, I think authentic raw content uh, is, is super important right now. I think uh, consistency, I mean, it, it, there's quantity and there's quality. I think, I, I hope that this is getting everybody a kick in the butt to get organized. Organize your CRM. If you don't have a Facebook group, you're stuck at home. Make a Facebook group and start to build it for your realtors. Be a thought leader in that thing. So get your CRM organized, get a Facebook group. Uh, your, certainly your email newsletter, who are your, your most important clients, your most important realtors, who's the, you know, in San Diego, there's 14,000 realtors, the industry as a whole, there's 1.3. I mean, you can geo target your content out to all of them or really dial it down. So I think, I think Dave, if we're categorizing it quantity versus quality, your quality group, like the people who know, love and trust you. Now's the time to really add value. Let them know what's happening, create authentic market updates. Don't be perfect do it from your iPhone and just get something in front of them and do it consistently. Uh, quantity as you're putting stuff out there, maybe put a little bit more time and energy into it. You don't have to have a professional editing team to drop it into iMovie and drop a little B-roll in there and at least make it somewhat professional. So I think um, consistency is key, being organized, having a message. And by the way, all these mediums aren't the same. Don't create a, a message that would make sense on Facebook that wouldn't make sense on Instagram or LinkedIn. One size does not fits all. You might sit down and be in the mood to watch some reality TV one day. You might be in the mood to watch some barstool sports on Instagram. You might want to watch uh, all the Star Wars movies. People sit down on certain mediums to receive certain types of content. So make sure whatever you're doing is consistent with that medium. Instagram, short and sweet. Do a meme, do quotes, things like that. Be consistent there in that. Facebook, a little bit more long form, write a little bit more, I think. Uh, I, I like writing and putting a video in there. So for people that like to read, there it is. But I also have the video for people who want to connect that way. Um, hope, so I, I know I'm throwing a lot. I don't know if I've necessarily categorized it, Dave, but hopefully there's something of that that is being picked up. I think uh, you know, being organized, being consistent, starting with your, your direct sphere, and then also pushing it out there to everybody. Get it? I mean, everybody should know you as the best mortgage professional in your city, or the best realtor, even if it's outside of your city. There's 1.3 million people. There's a great time to build equity in your brand. Yeah, well, I'm gonna talk about three types of content, and then we're gonna bring it into Bill, and we're gonna talk about how to promote that content, guys. So for about another five to 10 minutes, we're gonna talk about types of content and how to create great content. If you are creating videos and content on social media, let us know what you're doing. To me, the three most important categories are one, updates. So, you know, I've seen some fabulous updates, whether it's informing consumers about the current challenges in the market, giving your perspective on should they, you know, skip a mortgage payment. Uh, those are put them under update categories. You know, the only thing I would caution everybody who's doing updates is remember it's customer facing. So try to put yourself, have empathy, 
what's on the mind and the heart of the family. Not, you know, don't use marketing jar or don't use industry jargon. Don't overcomplicate things. Make it consumer first. Um, the two types of content I want to focus on mostly in this call are one, interviews, because Bill is going to talk about how you can promote interviews in just a spectacular way. Like if you do the right interviews with the right people and you promote them properly on Facebook, you can become the most well-known lender or loan officer in your city, period. He's got a formula for that. Craig, let's talk about the new innovation because, you know, that's the other thing I love about this. Guys, we got to think defense. What are we going to do defensive so we don't go out of business and we are profitable? But what are we going to do offensively? What are we going to innovate? So why don't you tell everybody a little bit about the, the property, you know, the virtual property um, videos that you guys are creating yeah, and, and just that, share some best practices around that. Yeah, uh, and I want to make sure I'm also relatable in what we're doing and giving some value to everybody who, who may not have a media company or a TV show the way we do. I, I can't let this one slip. Relation, relational content is so critical. Dave, what are you doing right now for your community? You're interviewing different people from different spaces to bring value to your community. Rip a page out of that playbook right now and if I'm in mortgage, maybe interview a top realtor. If I'm a realtor, maybe, maybe interview a, a center of influence. And how do you do that? Facebook lives, uh, Zoom calls, recordings, creating little segments. I, I love the relational side of this. And I left that out. You hit it. And I think, I think we should all double down on it. Uh, one of the things that we're doing, so like any business right now, I think we're all going through a, a hunker down, right? You're you're looking at your spend. I'm doing it personally and professionally. I mean, to be fully transparent and vulnerable with you, just the way that I, I encouraged you earlier. Look, this is a time to really make sure that you're, you're economically efficient, right? And with, with your business personally and professionally. So we're doing that. And with our business, it's, we're going to lose. We're, we're, we have a lot of revenue that comes out of real estate. We're losing some, but we're making sure that as we make strategic decisions in our business, we're also innovating. Everybody, uh, Dave, you, a great metaphoric way to put it. You should be on offense and defense right now. Defense, protect what you have, live to fight another day. Offense being, okay, I'm, I'm at home. You know, I, I, I'm online more. I have more time in and out of my home office. Let's get this online game down. Let, let's be thinking creatively. I've been doing more think tanks than I've ever done in the last two to three weeks. Zoom calls. I, I encourage you to do this with your realtors Innovate with them. Hey, do you want to do a Zoom call? Replace those coffee meetings and those happy hours with Zoom calls, strategizing. Scroll around online. Look at what some of the best online realtors are doing. Go to sethsold.com. There's a $100 million producer that's in our model that I would tell your realtors to look at. The guy's incredible. One of the things that we're doing uh, to innovate right now is I'll try and keep this short and sweet. So the American Dream is a national TV show. In the 52 cities that we're in, we create a show every week. Now to put that in perspective, I'm the CEO of the company, it's a very entrepreneurial model, we're not owned by a network, way more than just doing video. HGTV, I just mentioned Seth, Seth's one of our stars on our show. He is now the celebrity on Hot Properties on Thursday nights. It took him a year to produce six episodes. In our world, we're producing 52 episodes a week. So we are a content creating machine all over the country. And what we're doing to innovate right now is it's one thing to survive and give people what they need. And, and we have the show right now. I don't give a rip about the show. The show is our brand. We're tied to it. It's why people have partnered with us right now. I am much more interested in having a direct impact on the lives of the people that partner with us for you and your business. Who do you partner with in some way, shape or form? Obviously realtors that refer you what kind of direct impact can you make right now? And what we've kind of discovered in all of this, as we were creating solutions for our network on how to create content for marketing, we feel like we've been in, innovated something right now that the entire industry needs. That's like, it's not curing Corona, uh, but it is curing what every realtor is having shoved down their throat right now from coaches and brokerages and online newsletters, which is what are you going to do virtual? How are you going to figure out this online game right now? How are you going to figure out social media? I, this really has nothing to do with the book, but I just wrote the book on it. This is, this is the time, not just a great time. This is the time to be a leader right now because every one of your partners, everyone in the industry is being told they should do this. If you can just rise above that, 
and, and be a part of the solution for your realtors, you're going to win big. You're going to come out the other side big. So what we created on our side, we're calling it Volo, Virtual Online Listings. Everyone's talking about it. I'm not the first person to talk about virtual tours with you. And I'll leave the organization out, but I'll just say that I got a newsletter recently from an organization that was saying realtors better figure this out if they want to survive. And they had an example of a video in the middle of this newsletter went out to uh, I, I, God knows how many people, but a lot, big organization. And I watched this thing and I was like, that is garbage that I cannot believe. Cause look, uh, we talked earlier about authentic video and holding this iPhone up that there's a time and place for that. There's also a time and place to be the most professional right? Like on your business card, you don't have a selfie. You have a professional headshot on it. There's also a time and place to make sure you have professional content. If you want to develop confidence with your sphere, you better show you do more than selfies. And so what we developed with Volo is an opportunity for realtors and mortgage alike to essentially be able to look, you have a captive audience, more people paying attention now than ever, what are you going to do with that? Well, we've created the opportunity for agents and mortgages to still position as neighborhood experts, to still have a story, have a brand, be seen as authentic, coupled with you better be giving your buyers and sellers confidence right now that you know how to navigate this upside down marketplace. If those two worlds came together, neighborhood expert, thought leader, story with a confident leader, impressing your buyers and sellers, showing that you're carrying the flag in this disrupted marketplace and you know how to market properties. Now, again, if you're a realtor, this makes sense. If you're mortgage, this is value you can bring to your, your realtors. Those two worlds come together. That's what Volo is. Volo is our model that we've designed for realtors and mortgage to be able to create killer content that ties in them as neighborhood experts and also connects them with consumers. So there's a website we created. It's volovirtual.com. It, look, I'm telling you right now, it's new. We're beta testing. We're, we're flying by the seat of our pants, just like everyone. So you're going to see some things on that website that, that, you know, this was developed over the last three, four weeks and, and think tanks with industry leaders. But we're actually doing an event, Dave, coming up that I'd love to invite anybody on this call to, where we're going to go deep on this philosophy, what we're doing, the strategy around it. Uh, I believe it's, I, I have it pulled up here. It's volovirtual.com forward slash, I believe it's event event. Yes. Volovirtual.com forward slash event. And it, honestly, Dave, to, to hit it on the head, I think this is exactly what the industry needs right now, period. I, I, I've never been more confident in anything. It's scary out there. There's fear. We're trying to figure this thing out. It's also a time to innovate. And, and this is the innovation of this disrupted market. And I hope that your sphere, your, everyone on this call, uh, just learns a little bit about it because I, I really think it's it's like lemonade on a hot day right now. And I, and I don't say that callously. Obviously, there's a lot of struggles going on, but it, it is a marketing solution, I think, that the, the market desperately needs. So, guys, I have put a link to volo.com forward slash event in chat if you're watching this in Zoom. Uh, for those of you that usually watch us on Facebook, apologies, but Facebook was not, was it wasn't down but it wasn't letting us share in the group. So we have shared this on our YouTube channel. I can see that there's about 15 of you watching us on YouTube right now live. Uh, but apologies if you're used to watching us in the group, that did not work. Uh, if you're watching the recording of this, we'll have all the links that he's mentioned. He mentioned sethsold.com. Seth O'Burn um, is an amazing marketer. This guy's a you know, $100 million a year realtor and he became that using Facebook using Instagram, using video, creating amazing content. I mean, you, there's not a realtor that does a better job of creating amazing content than Seth, and he is the chief marketing op, uh, officer for American Dream. So Craig, I highly recommend the Mortgage Coach community um, checks out your event. I can't wait to see some examples of these virtual tours that make, lo make realtors the local ec neighborhood expert. Is there one that you could share in the group right now? Is there a link to one where we can just get a sample of what awesomeness looks like? Do you want to try and play it? Or just provide uh, How long is it? How long is it? There's a two minute one. I can drop it to you. My computer's moving kind of slow. Uh, why, don't, why don't you put it in chat of, because well, I want to bring Bill in right now. 
I want to bring do Phil in right this. now. To your and audience, then, and then, do this. Go to, go to the volovirtual.com, click around. You'll see a couple examples there. And the big, the key takeaway uh, as we get to Bill here, when you watch those, I want you to understand the realtors that you see in those segments did that content with a iPhone. So what you see happening around them, essentially we took our media company that was creating a national TV show and we have shifted our resources to give the market what it needs right now, which is the ability to create powerful content with an iPhone, not a videographer. So when you watch Seth's video, for example, that's iPhone footage, two minutes of iPhone footage that came over to us and our editing team polished it up and put it into what would be seen as a segment or an episode. So give it a look there and I think that'll give you a good idea of what we're gonna be talking about on Thursday morning at 9 a.m. Good, so guys, categories, market updates, uh, be the neighborhood expert, and, and I do think there's a strategy for both realtors and lenders to be the neighborhood expert. You know, Dan Keller, you want to be the most well-known loan officer in Seattle. Now is the time to do that. I am also, after this call, I'll put a link to that interview that Craig referenced in comments below. So, so Bill, you, you just heard Craig talk about ideas and strategies and best practices to create content. The big takeaway for everybody should be, you can do everything with an iPhone. So we're gonna, we're gonna transition to interviews. Bill, I know you talked about this for a full hour a week or two ago. You got 20 minutes now to play off of what Craig just shared. By the way, anything you wanna say about what Craig just shared or any questions for Craig before we get into your content? <laughs> yeah, you know what? You need to set up one of these where Craig and I just get to play with each other and play off each other because uh, as fast as he's talking, I'm, uh, trust me, I've been all through the Volo site now. I've been looking at the, the videos, freaking spectacular, uh, uh, spectacular videos. It, at the end of the day, what it comes down to, and, and Craig said it up, up a dozen different ways, but before you post something online, just be, use common sense, use empathy, ask yourself if, Mm -hmm. I saw this, would I stop and watch it? Would I consume it? Would I comment on it? Would I like it? Or would I just scroll past as more annoying, you know, crap that's there? Just, just use your own common sense and empathy before you put stuff up. Remember, and, and it wasn't just interviews we talked about, Dave. The whole idea was create content for others, not yourself. Create stuff that benefits others, whether it's the consumption of it or because it it makes them look good like in an interview or helps their business or their cause or whatever, but you just, you just got to get more human in this and think about who you're pushing this stuff out to and are they going to be grateful you did it or annoyed or indifferent. And so this real is quick, before stuff. you go on, before you go on guys, be the guide, not the hero. So <laughs> when you look at that content Craig is doing, he is creating content that's making the homeowner the hero. They're taking houses in neighborhoods and they're being the guide and then they're promoting it. And, and Bill, when we did that interview the other day, you're interviewing local influencers and leaders and you're being the guide, making them the hero. So, so Bill, let's get into best practices on how to not create the content. We could do that, do that later, later, but best practices to promote it and share it on Facebook. All right. Hey, as we go on, this one quick question, Craig, since you're still there. Are these yeah. videos, is all the B-roll in these videos shot on iPhones by the, uh, the client as well? So, great question. The, by the way, the entire philosophy is about the relationship. That I love your there. As, you, as we've shifted and we the market what it needs right now are essentially applying the resources of our media company. So a lot, so the things that you see of like Seth, his is a good one in there, uh, uh, marketing the South Park area and a South Park listing that impresses his seller that he knows how to navigate this market, but also he's that neighborhood expert. So he's in his backyard, he's quarantined, but he's in his backyard with his iPhone. We're weaving in B-roll of footage that we've accumulated. You can get some of the stuff online. That's a good question for my editing team, but most of what you're gonna see is stuff that we have. And so we, we kind of have an arsenal and a library, but I imagine Seth, Seth probably turns his iPhone on his side, just so everyone knows, this thing is so ridiculously powerful. 
I don't even want it to get out to the masses. I'll, I'll lose my company if they realize that you can do everything we're doing with an iPhone. <laughs> you know, so even if it's not, Bill, it could be, you know, an iPhone on its side is going to capture the B-roll that it needs. What the magic then happens on the editing side. And, and that's where we're pretty good is we know how to weave that storyline, strip the audio yep. and make it. No, I just killer. wanted to highlight that to everybody and say, because a lot of people don't know what B-roll is and nobody wants to watch a talking head for three minutes straight. Best, best execution, best use of B-roll footage and images. If you want to learn how to, and you can do all this stuff on iMovie, not to the same degree, but at least, you know, I've got some clips, but that's what B-roll clips are. I'm going to point people when I'm talking about B-roll to you. So now I've got this stuff. I've got this great video that, you know, is all about the community or whatever. And I had your video up showing it to everybody while you were talking. Now I want to go promote it. And I want to do it, you know, because I, I want the views. But remember, it's reach, impact, frequency. If your views come from strangers every time, if all I do is go hit the boost button in Facebook and then just say, you know, boost it, go get me views and you come back and you go, look, I got 50,000 views. If there's strangers all over the world, it doesn't really do you any good. You know, it's not like somebody's gonna be scrolling through Facebook and go, oh, whoa, whoa, who's that? That's a stranger I've never seen before. I think I'll call them up and see if I can Buy a house from them, list my home, do a more. It doesn't work that way. If you're going to be a brand, you have to be seen over and over and over by, by the people that you want to know, like, and trust you. So it's a combination. Yes, you want to get the stuff out there. But when you get it out there in bulk, you're not getting it out there going, there, I did it, I got views. You're putting the views, the big views out there as a top of funnel, as a way to make connections. Remember, there's only two marketing functions that you care about. That's growing your database, nurturing your database, making new connections or strengthening them. So when you push the content out big, what you're trying to do is grab the people that are kind of checking you out. Dave and I were talking yesterday and, and harking back to our youth. Do you remember when you were young and you were out in a nightclub, bar, whatever, Imagine if they had like facial recognition, eye tracking software and all the cameras in the ceilings and they could instantly on your phone tell you all the people that were kind of checking you out. Oh yeah, she was checking you out for seven seconds. She could, And you knew, or he, if you knew who was checking you out, you would have had a lot better shot at your goals for the night and meeting people, right? Well, that's what you can do online. I know who's checking me out online and I can automatically pull them into a database. So to Craig's example of news hacking, traffic jacking, whatever you want to call it, it's, it's such an awesome technique. You don't need to have <laughs> investigative reporters. All the reporting is being done for you. You just have to go re-report the news and they say, yeah, if you want to read the full article, it's down below. Well, look at this example. Here's Ryan Grant. He just put this up a couple days ago. Uh, there's links on where you can access a calculator to find out what your stimulus check will be. So he shot a quick video about, hey, everyone, and I, pass along, I wanted to pass along some information on how you, and this is valuable information people need. Do I qualify? How much will I qualify for? How do I apply for it? How do I get it? Those are questions people have. He shoots a quick video, puts this video out there, and, and when this, with some little budget behind it, they can add like a hundred dollar boost, but now, and sorry, Ryan, I'm kind of ratting you out to the world here or showing off your personal <laughs> Facebook stuff because we just started doing all this, but Ryan's through plays. Anybody that, and a through play is Facebook's definition of, a, of a, an engaged viewer. And I can say, only show me the people that watched 100% of the video or five seconds or three seconds or two or 10, or through play means they click through to it and watched at least 15 seconds and did some activities that meant they were engaged with the video. He's now got in the last week, 13,000 people that have consumed his content, people with whom he is now familiar and some sort of an authority. These are people checking him out online and now that they're in his audience, they're gonna see him over and over and over and that's the key to all this stuff. When you put this content out, here's Carl, somebody else I work with, and we just did a reverse hedge, and we did this on Zoom. 
interviewed him on Zoom. We've actually done a bunch of these. And, and you know, can see we have this one out there, and I think it went out day before yesterday. And he's already got 1,408 people that have through played this video, and they're now captured into his, and if they're watching a through play on how to use a reverse mortgage as a hedge against a potential real estate crash, in light of everything that's happening, they're interested. They're interested, whether they're interested in doing something now or not. And by the way, it looks like, yeah, he's running about seven cents. Uh, 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 Ryan, uh, a little bit less on this. That's your top of funnel cost to get people in. And so if, if, if I'm an American dream client and I'm producing this content, yeah, I'm going to go and I'm going to put some budget on it so that it goes out to very little targeting, everybody, whatever. But then as those people consume that content, now I can take and capture those people because all I do is go into my little audiences section here in Facebook, say create audience, and then a custom audience. And your custom audiences, that's the, remember our marketing plan for a fifth grader? I'm just going to put up one piece of content every week that is consumable, enjoyable, whatever, that, that people will appreciate. And I'm going to make sure that everybody in my database sees it. My database is all my friends on Facebook because I migrated my profile and all my followers and all my uploaded database and everybody who's viewing my videos or engaging with my content. That's my database. Those are my, my contacts that I want to stay in front of so consistently that every time one of them sees me, I say, oh my gosh, I see you everywhere. And you can be, I don't think you're the biggest loan officer, realtor, whatever, in the world because they see your stuff everywhere. And that's who you want to be. You just can't afford to do that with the whole universe, but you can with 10,000 people. So I come in here and I say, yep, why not give me people who have through played my video? And then I go through and I pick my videos and I can go to the next page and I can keep adding and I can edit this and add more videos later. And yep, that one got 10,000 views and that one got 10,000 views. And now I can say confirm and I name my audience and that's it. Now I have my retargeting audience between my friends. And we showed you how to turn all your friends into followers between my followers, my engagers and my video viewers. Those are people that just straight up numbers, forget all the fluff and theory and hype. They're 26 times more likely to do business with you than the average person. Why do we go out and market ourselves to everybody instead of focusing on the people that are statistically more likely? And by the way, it might not be who you think. Don't worry about that. But like I'm looking through somebody's uh, uh, stats and data on their content yesterday and, and I look clearly their views are coming from 35 to 44 year old males, 45 to 54 year old males. 55 to 64 year old males, whoever it is, whatever you think, that's your sweet spot. And by the way, I also know if they're iPhone users, Android users, you can see all this stuff, but you don't need to. Don't worry about any of that. Just know that Facebook's doing it for you. They're using 400,000 variables. This is like a thousand times more powerful than eHarmony or any of the online matchup tools. They're matching people up more data then your mind can even wrap itself around. And then they're feeding you the people. In this case, it's the people that are watching your content. That's the perfect people. But when you get to a point where you eventually, you'll have a thousand people that have watched a five minute video of yours, the whole thing. Then you finally got to the point where these are my power viewers. These people love me. They're super fans. I take those super fans and I can create a lookalike or a special ad audience. And now they're going to use all those 400,000 variables and match those people. And I pull it down to my geography. And now I've got my grow database. This is who I'm out there grabbing viewers with. And instantly your results will go up to threefold. And this is how you can take, because yeah, you're paying about a penny a view. It's a lot if you're trying to go out and, you know, market to a million people in, you know, Orange County, whatever. But if you're just out there getting your stuff out there until you find somebody that likes you, clearly respects you, and now you got an audience of 10,000 people, well, 
dang, it's only gonna cost me a hundred bucks a week to stay in front of those 10,000 people. That's insane. Now you're famous to the people that count. Anyway, Dave, does that make sense, Craig? Yes, sir. I'm taking a picture of you and posting on Instagram. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, I would love to work with you, Craig, sometime, just because, like I said, big fan, love what you do. Now to bring in some of this nerdy back ends, targeting, retargeting, the psychology, the way to build in the calls to action without yeah. making it look like a call to action, because most of the business that's coming out of it these days is people messaging uh, uh, or it's in the comments and it's insane how effective that works when you mix in because th those are all jabs guys that's 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 keeping them people off balance and you know whatever but every now and then you bring in a right hook with an opportunity for them to access a lead magnet get something wow Anyway, yeah. So, so <laughs> you need to send me guys, your people so guys, play let with. me let me let me write wrap this up, and okay. then we've got twenty minutes to go back and forth here, guys. So all first right. of all, you need great content that is scroll stopping, that is valuable. And Craig has some of the best. Make sure you're following. Make sure you check it out. Make sure you go to his webinar on this Thursday, uh, and then you need to promote it. So you need to have a budget. And then you, not, you don't want to just boost it. You want to smart boost it. And Bill went through some ideas really fast. I want to remind everybody that he's doing a workshop. Bill, tell everybody about the workshop you're doing. And I know you adjusted the price to make it, you know, well, I know people have signed up. You want to, you want to give as much value. Yeah, anybody that signed up and paid the 1500 bucks to go through this six week intensive training, um, uh, you should have already gotten a refund for 750. I still want people to commit to 1500 bucks, Dave, but uh, this is kind of a new experiment for me. And you're one of the people that pushed me this way along with some other influencers in the industry. Go out and share it in bulk. Cause I only work with clients one-on-one, -on -one. but I don't want to teach it. Teaching never ever seems to work. I want people to do it. The whole idea is we're not going to go as broad. We're going to make this hands-on we're going to do it. So I want you to take the other 750, and I want you to commit that. So over the six weeks, call that 125 bucks a week. I want you to, so that at the end of these six weeks, you will have your 75,000 views. You will have your great big audience. You will have, you will be the best known person in your marketplace by the end of this so that you've done it. Cause momentum's the key. We're all Darren Hardy fans. He always talks about big Mo. I want people to come out of this with momentum. So that's it. Uh, um, uh, by referral marketing.com or twisted social.com. Either one will get you there. If somebody wants to sign up. Um, so guys, this thing is going to sell out. Uh, he's lowered the price. He announced last week that it was 1500. It's now 750, but don't do it. Like really don't do it unless you're going to commit another 750 to doing the advertising and don't do it. Like Bill and I don't want you to do it unless you're going to do it. You're going to do it and you're going to promote it and you're going to create content and you're going to promote the content smart. You're not just going to push the boost button. You're going to build custom audiences. You're going to get frequency. My goal is Mr. Mortgage Coach is to help every mortgage professional, one, be a black belt in mortgage advice so that you are the most valuable loan officer yeah. to the families that you see. And then two, I want you to be the best marketer in your marketplace. I want you to have the most market share. And, and we're going to also teach you how to create lead magnets with a total cost analysis. So part of the training is how, how do I take different total cost analysis strategies that I have and actually turn them into lead generation, as Gary Vee would say, right hooks. So, so guys, check it out. There's a link down below, whether you're watching the recording or watching this live. So guys, let's just go back and forth. So Craig... Any takeaways you had or any questions yeah. you have for Bill? Yeah, you know, I, I wrote a couple notes down on, on the whole boost thing. If you're just boosting just to get views, vanity views, it's just giving Zuckerberg money. There's, there's rubber's yeah. not meeting the road there at all. What Bill's talking about is entirely different. It, it, I wrote down, it's like taking a scuba diver, taking the worm directly to the fishy's mouth. Like there's, there's something way more strategic about that than just giving Zuckerberg money and saying, oh, I got 37,000 views. Who cares? I mean, it, it just doesn't matter anymore. And I think most people know that by, by now. 
uh, but they have a strategy around it. Look, I'm the CEO of a media company. That means I kind of have to study social media. And the one thing I would tell you that I know is that I get people that are a lot smarter than me to do it for me. <laughs> you know, so I really don't know much. I just know that it's, it's good to find smart people. And what I'm hearing, someone who is, is as intelligent about this as Bill is, what he's doing by giving you half back so that you then spend that, he's basically like, I'm going to let the spend you're giving me, which I normally charge as a coach, to ensure I deliver results to you. It's, he's building the results into it. Like it's, by the way, I don't, I didn't know you're going to present this today. I don't get a, a override or anything. I'm just telling anyone just a little bit that you shared. I know enough about it to be dangerous. It's a no brainer. I mean, absolutely no brainer. 750 for the intellectual capital and then 750 to make rubber meet the road and actually do it and build the audiences and, and get you moving. And I don't know what the ongoing thing is like, but I, I, I see what you're doing, Bill. And if I'm in mortgage or real estate, it's, it's obvious because it's an actual strategy versus show up, throw up, create content, spend money, boost, how many views did I get? That's not, that's not marketing. That's noisy. It's annoying. Yeah, and it's productive. Absolutely. And Ryan Grant, guys, you know, if you don't know who Ryan is, check out the interview. He became the preferred lender for Facebook and their 400,000 employees. And, and he hires Bill. Again, to engage with Bill on a personal level, it's a minimum of a $15,000 engagement and 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 he he's too busy to do that anyways he comes into the mortgage coach community he always just gives 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 free free stuff guys he's here to help you guys build brands and make the most of the market opportunity we have i truly believe if you're smart if you hustle if you really get after it you can become the lender that every realtor knows in your marketplace over the next six weeks and also have a family database of all the, the families that are most likely to connect with you. You're gonna have that custom audience and you're gonna be able to promote and build frequency with those folks. So, so Bill, let's, let's, you guys play off each other. Craig, I know you need to leave in about seven minutes. Um, well, first of all, Craig, you gotta leave in seven minutes. So is there anything else you want to say today so we can make sure we get all the value we can out of you before you go? Uh, you know, look, stay healthy, stay safe. This is the end of every one of my emails right now. Stay healthy, stay safe, dot, dot, dot. Stay caps lock inspired. I mean, that, that's how I'd sum all this stuff up. It's, it's easy to tighten up, to get scared, to, to not be willing to spend money. If you think that's weathering the storm, I'm just telling you, if you got anything saved up, this is where you make investments because the entire world is chaos. You know, I just posted... I think on my, my personal Facebook group, a video we created with me and Gary Vaynerchuk, which he, in a Gary Vaynerchuk kind of way with some F-bombs said, the, and this is old, this is years ago, said, the world is upside down, which makes innovators like me real effing happy. <laughs> and it's a little, little provocative, but this is an entrepreneur's marketers dream right now. You have chaos, you have disruption, all these relationships you haven't been able to tap into because some other LO had that relationship. Well, if they're not stepping up to the challenge and giving their realtors value, a soft landing, expertise, this is a disrupted market. This is your chance to make huge strides or be like the majority of the people go into a hole and come out in 90 days. I'm leaning in, I'm doubling down, and I, and I hope you are too. It's really that time. It, it, is, it is the time for leaders to lead. Really mean that. That's it. But so Craig, Craig, you let it Craig, that was so much wisdom in that. Guys, remember this is recorded. It'll be in the Mortgage Coach YouTube channel within an hour or two. It'll be available in the Mortgage Coach Facebook group. If you're watching this, make sure you are connected with us. Uh, Craig, reminder, the event is Thursday at what time? Yeah, so live event. If nothing else, copy what we're doing. You should be doing live events for your realtors and interview someone of influence and make people register for it and build database and give it to Bill and met it, make him do look like audiences and do it again. Uh, but it's uh, volovirtual.com forward slash event. So volovirtual.com forward slash event. If you have any challenges registering, anything, anyone can email me, craig at craigsewing.com, spelled like a sewing machine. Uh, Craig at CraigSewing.com. And the last thing is uh, Instagram. 
if you want to DM me, it's at Craig Sewing Media, at Craig Sewing Media. So hit me up. Love, love, love that. And should, should the, the loan officers that are watching this, should they watch it with a realtor? Should they invite realtors? You know, is it, is it? I would, I would take that link. I would say I learned a little bit about this. My understanding is it's free. And this is a guy who wrote the book on building an online business as it's tied to real estate. There's a guy on the call who's a hundred million dollar producer named Seth O'Byrne, who's the celebrity on hot properties on HGTV on Thursday nights and a digital strategist. I want to check it out. You should check this out. I, I promise you, you just gave your real estate community value. The way I just described circumventing relationships of, of the loan officers who are tucking away and not helping add value to the realtors, use that as a way to add value. Get it out to your real estate community. Send a mass email. I'm getting emails every day. I sent this out to 5,000 people. I would do that. I would post it because it's going to give a lot of value to your realtors. Get people there. Is, yeah. there, is, there, is there a post you have right now where they could take that post, share it, frame it? Is there a place where they, you, know, you have it on Facebook right now that they could just grab that and share it on their Facebook page? I don't think I do. I could get that up easily. But in the very least, take the, the link of the of the actual landing page for the registration do that facebook will give you a preview take it there all right guys so check out bolo virtual is it bolo virtual or what was the name of the bolo, company again? bolo, bolo virtual.com forward slash event so guys check that out keep an eye on craig's website it's going to be awesome content you know learn from it get value from it and, and uh, if you do attend the event, let me know. Comment in the Mortgage Coach Facebook group. Let's get a conversation going around that content. Let's promote it to our realtors. Craig, I'll let you go when you need to. But Bill, any quick questions for Craig before he leaves? No. I, you know what? I'll, I'll take them offline because I am curious to hear about Bolo. You know, what's the engagement? How does that work? Everybody needs some. I like what he said about you need some professional content. I like authentic cell phone content, you know, Sundance Film Festival winner was shot on iPhones last year. That's good, but you need some professional stuff. I'd love to learn more about how I could push people that way. I'll definitely be, no offense, stealing a bunch of it and telling people to go copy. If you want to see what good video looks like, go look at this. This is how yeah, you use yeah. it. So I, I, saw, I saw a comment in the chat box. It's Volo, V-O-L-O. -O. So Volo, Virtual Online Listing Opportunity is really what we've created out of it acronym uh, volo virtual.com forward slash event yeah you know uh, there's no doubt about it authentic content is great but the problem is is especially now you're gonna have a lot of people running and doing that or just shaky hand not good audio bad lighting it sometimes you need to step above and when you look at the volo virtual.com website keep in mind that is iphone video that is authentic what we've done is we've just polished around it and take the, the viewer on a visual journey versus just watching a talking head. So even if you're doing authentic content, I think things like B-roll and mixing it up and movement, like I think that's all really valuable right now because you're keeping, we have ADD, like keep us stimulated. If nothing else, just don't stand in one place. Get moving, move up your sidewalk, do something, but be active. <laughs> no, I need that I mix, that. I need that mix. So yeah, I'd like to learn more. I, I think I'll be a good source of referrals for you. And I'd love to brainstorm. I got one more. I'd love to run by you. That for a second, we got one of our Volos back for an agent last night. I was looking at it, uh, Dave and Bill, and uh, this realtor sat there like this, and she didn't move. Versus, go watch Seth's on that site. He's moving. He's he's put the phone down. He's getting his hands moving. Uh, that's a good takeaway right now. If you're out doing the stuff, even if it's on an iPhone, don't just sit there stagnant. Move. Be active. Walk people in front of the house that you're talking about. I know you have to be quarantined, but even if you're moving around your house or showing your dog, I don't care. <laughs> but just remember, we have ADD and we're flooded with information and yeah. content. I mean, it's insane. So do something that's attention grabbing. Even if it's authentic, you can grab people's attention by moving things around it and being active. And just keep that in mind. Even good stuff surrounding that, a dull speaker with no movement, as I was going to say, uh, well, yeah. I'll say it. Our old friend, Ron Quintero, used to say, Dave, you, you can't, can't turn chicken shit into chicken salad. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> I, mean, I couldn't help a it. Little, a little, uh, no, a little rock materialism, man. Yeah, you know, I, I ran through my own stop sign. I'm like, should I say that right now? Oh, I just did. Yeah. <laughs> All right, man. All right, brother. Hey, man. I love you, brother. Uh, rock out, whatever you got to do. You. I will be on that Bolo event. Bill, we've had a number of people in chat. I got after great guys. Reminder. Thanks, Dave. Thanks, Bill. Thanks, Coach Community. Thanks, love you Greg. guys. Look forward to catching stay up healthy, again. Stay safe. Stay inspired. It's that time. It's the best time. You, you will look back. We will have a remember when on this time. Don't be the guy who's looking back and say, damn, I should have done something then. Be the guy who looks back and be like, I leaned in, and because of that, I excelled. It's right there for you. Go get it. All right, guys. Got to run. Amen. Take, Second take care, brother. So, I wish I so had, I, or I'm I, glad I did all right, guys, so we're going to close out with the concept of be safe, stay inspired, and upgrade skills that will serve you today and tomorrow. Video is one of those skills. Mortgage coach total cost analysis is one of those skills that if you do a better job of creating better video content, you do a better job of giving families clarity and advice versus price, you're going to kill it today and you are going to elevate your career to come. So Bill, we've got less than five minutes. Real quick, what is the link that they need to go to to sign up for your, um, I don't know what we're gonna call it. I don't even think workshop's the right answer. Your boot camp. Yeah, like, like guys, this is, this is a social media boot camp where you're going to learn and you're going to do things that build your brand. So what's the link again? Um, <laughs> put it, in, put it no. in chat below. Put it in chat below. Yeah, as I say, I put it a, a few links to it because I wasn't sure what to call it. I started off with buyreferralmarketing.com. That goes there, but we're going to get a little more twisted than that. So I took another domain I had, twistedsocial.com, and put it there. So yeah, if you go to Twisted Social, and we're kind of making this up there on the go. fly. I've got a complete yeah, curriculum. No problem. What was that? I said, no, no, keep going. You were going to oh, say, I, gonna say keep, I just said, no I problem. A, a complete curriculum and I'm, I'm changing it up. We used to teach things kind of in segments whenever I've done this. Like I said, I want to have greater success. I want more follow through. I want to force it on people. So instead of teaching everything about audiences or everything about this is all about video creation, we're going to kind of work through this so that people do stuff. So that, you know, in week one, uh, uh, they're going to, you know, do migrations and they're going to configure the pages and do their first post and get their first views so that right out of the gate, week one, wow, I'm, I'm getting results and hopefully deals. And that's the, de and we're going to keep it open afterwards so that people who are having a problem can hop on and screen share back and forth. And guys, I'm not <laughs> selling something I've been putting together for years. This is something that, that recently came up. If you were going to do it, how would you do it? How could you do it? As opposed to working with clients one-on-one -on -one and teaching them how to do it. So, you know, bear with me. We're in this together. I put together a support group, uh, a support group of, <laughs> sounds like a 12, a, a Facebook private group. I've been uploading videos, tutorials, content there. The whole idea is everybody can come together and support each other. We can put up all our stuff where we can review what people are doing and we can go through and, and, you know, critique, give advice. We can share each other's content as we get to know each other. Facebook, or excuse me, marketing is best played as a team sport. If we support each other in this and kind of come together like a group, uh, it'll cut your budget way, way, way back because you need people that will engage, that will share. And hoping we can all support each other. So this is new for me. Uh, uh, I guarantee you that the results will come. It's not that complicated. I'm gonna try and be more repetitive this time and really try and shove it, you know, at people and uh, you gotta do this. And if they can't do it, then we're gonna, we're gonna help them with the screen share, Dave. We're gonna do videos remotely over Zoom. We're gonna do whatever it takes to make sure that everybody gets up, gets out, starts getting that exposure, starts collecting those audiences, and is unforgettable by the time they're done. Uh, and I'm hoping it doesn't even take a whole six weeks. We can get into more advanced stuff, more lead gen, more whatever. But somebody who gets 50,000 views a month, 
their business is going to double. It's they, you just can't not. It's just so simple. So yeah, this is a new one for me, Dave. Yeah. I'm going to force it. Uh, uh, at well, see. Well, I am. I am pumped. I did not know you were going to be doing a Facebook group. I mean, I just heard that, and I'm like thinking that alone is probably worth the investment to be part of a Facebook group of the mortgage coach communities, most aggressive marketers, best marketers, not aggressive, just most compassionate, highest quality marketers to be in that base group, book group will be a value. So guys, I hope you got value from the hour that we had today. This coming Friday, I'm gonna be having Dan Rawich come to our Friday Mastermind and mastermind around what's happening in the market, what's happening in the economy. You know, one, answer your questions. And two, talk about what kind of content you should be creating around the market. So this Friday, I'm going to have Dan Rawich on the call. I'm going to have Tony Blodgett, a regular leader in the community that's, you know, uh, a market nerd. I've interviewed him on how to take what's happening in the market and turn that into education and advice. Um, and let's face it, today's market, we need to do a better job of that than ever before. So this Friday, nine o'clock Pacific, Dan Rawich is our guest, myself, Tony Blodgett, uh, Todd Bookstan, the regular crew. Uh, I think Scott Nicholson may be joining that call. Uh, you know, we, we may have Josh Mevel on that call. Uh, I'm actually talking to an executive at Quicken that might join us on that call. Uh, I will be sharing some takeaways from an interview that I had with the guy who's on the front line at Quicken, you know, negotiating with the government and putting together some of the packages. I've got some content from him and he may be on the call personally also. So check us out nine o'clock this Friday. Bill Hillstead, you the man. I can't wait for this group to rock it out. Thank you, brother. Thank you, man. Fun stuff. Thanks everybody. Yeah, if you got value, give us a like down below. Whether you're watching this on YouTube, Facebook, give it a like, share it with your friends. Have a great day, everybody. And be safe and be inspired. Take care. Be home and be safe.